Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today's video is geared more towards beginner users as we are going to be going over how to download and install Mozilla Firefox, a free web browser. So what we're going to want to start with is get on the internet. If you have Internet Explorer, which comes standard with any version of Windows, you can use that or if you have another browser already installed like Google Chrome we're just going to do this review through Internet Explorer so I'm just going to open up our browser here I have Google as my home page doesn't really matter what home page you have or what search engine you're using Google is preferred though so what you're going to want to do is type in Mozilla Firefox and the very first search result should say download Firefox free web browser and you can see that the website's name is www.mozilla.org so you know it's the right web page and you just left click to open up that page I will put this link in the description if you do not want to go through those steps so right in the middle of the page there's a green box this is free download left click on that now you're going to see a little pop-up at the bottom of our browser here saying do you want to run or save this installer? We're going to left click on run. If you have user account control enabled you will get this pop-up. Select the yes button. Okay so now we have opened up the Firefox setup successfully. Now the first thing we're going to have to decide is if we want Firefox to become our default web browser by the default option meaning that if you do not change the installation settings it will make Firefox the default web browser I am going to deselect that and then I'm going to left click on the install button now it'll basically install Firefox on its own it does not require any user input at this point so we're just going to let Firefox download here. So once it's finished installing, it'll give you the option to import different files and settings from different web browsers. So if you wanted to import your history or passwords that were saved in another browser like Internet Explorer, which we have installed on every Windows computer, or if you have another browser installed like Google Chrome, it'll give you the option to import different settings from that respective browser. Personally, I don't ever see the need to import settings, so I am just going to left click on don't import anything, and then I'm going to left click on next. And there we go guys, we can see that we have Firefox successfully installed. It should be the latest version if you're downloading it from their official web page. And if we close out of the browser for a moment, we can see we have an icon on the desktop that we can open up Mozilla Firefox. We can also just click on our start button here and we can see that Firefox is a shortcut on our start menu. And you can also access it by just typing in Firefox into your search bar and you can see under programs you have Mozilla Firefox. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.